What up, everybody? This is Samantha. And I'm Amir. And together we are Kayla Meets World. All right, what are we doing today? So today, Amir wanted to actually go and do this video because as newlyweds, we think it's really important to be familiar with your finances. So it's a little bit of a serious topic today, but it's important. And we wanted to make this video a more fun, interactive kind of thing. So you may get a little bit more mindful about your finances. By no means we're financial advisors, so <laughs> we're just telling you what we do. Uh, everything you do is at your own risk. <laughs> How we plan our finances as newlyweds. The first thing that we do in our finances as newlyweds is actually write down every single expense that we have for like basically every single day right like we write our expenses every single day we monitor exactly what we spent on so whether that's food gas uh paying the bills anything like that you want to make sure that you are making a record of it and keeping track of all your expenses so that you are able to not only see what you've been spending on but also budget for things that you may potentially want to buy in the future i totally agree it's a great author and real estate legend uh, darren hardy in his book the compound effect uh, wrote exactly about how he used to spend a lot and then the moment he started tracking and everything he would buy he would whip out the notebook you know, whip out a notebook and actually write it down. Suddenly, he stopped buying certain things because, oh, I don't want to take out the book. And then you, as you also, you track everything. What you track and uh, monitor improves. So it's the easiest first step you can do in starting to track your finances. And that's what we do. Another thing that we do as well is living within our means. Now, what we mean by that is, you know, you, we both have an understanding of what kind of income we both bring in. I bring in a certain income, Amir brings in a certain income. And so living within your means just means that you know what you're living off of and living within that bubble of what you can actually afford. This, just a whole nut in his mouth. Next piece of advice that we take is we track our net worth every month. Well, there's actually a, quite a few things we do every month. Um, net worth tracking is just one of them. So, like I said, whatever you track and monitor improves. You want to know, you know, what your net worth is because then you got your all your assets and liabilities, and then you kind of get the last little bit is whatever you are. <laughs> anyway. Most people, I would say, our age tend to be in the negatives because with student debt, they finish school and start working in the negatives. Then when they're working, they get married and that's expensive. Then they buy a home, they buy a car. So they never actually get a, get a positive net worth for a very, very long time. Expanding on what we track every month, number four is the breakdown of your finances. I actually got this from another book. Uh, I just happened to forget the name, but I think it had the word millionaire in it. So overall, it was a great book. And then the idea was that you have a certain amount of income for like that the given month. And then you just break it down to different, um, oh, he's in my ear. <laughs> you break it down. So at least what we do is uh, you put the 30% expenses. So let's say you made $1,000 that month, $300 goes to your expenses. So this is like necessary stuff, things like rent, things like transportation, 15% going to like long-term savings. So this could be anything from like a rainy day fund or you're trying to save up to buy something like a home. So that's 15% and then 10% is play. There's no robotic uh, people out there. People have feelings, people have needs and wants. So 10% is play. A really good idea that I got from the book was that they recommended that 10% go to play and then you actually have to spend that 10% before the end of the month. You made $1,000, let's just say $100 going to play. You have to spend the 10% uh, because this is kind of what gets you, um, you in the zone. It's like you, you, you let out your steam and you don't have any temptations later on. 
So, and that temptation is not gonna be out of proportion. Uh, it's just gonna be 10%. Well, next up, 30% is what we're doing uh, that goes into retirement, basically. If you ever heard of the saying called pay yourself first, that's literally what it is. You get a thousand dollar paycheck for the month, 30% uh, means $300 goes right away. Um, then $700 is the rest. And then uh, we also have 50% into active investing, which is choice investments of your choice. So that's the 100% and that's what we do every month. We actually use a pretty neat tool called Mint. We're not sponsored, but you can check them out. Uh, it just helps you visualize your, your spending in, in categories and helps you stay on track. That's our monthly tracking we do. Anything that I missed, uh, Miss Beautiful? Or Mrs. Beautiful, I forgot we're married. One thing about Mint that I did want to comment on is that it was a really great tool for like checking like when you're over budget or under budget or if you want if you go under budget on something then you can allocate last month's under budget to like your next month so I thought that was really cool it like kind of gives you that like leader money I guess for that for that particular thing that you budgeted for. Kind of in line with the pay yourself first thing, you also want to invest in yourself. So always be learning, for example, or you know, the best return on investment is always yourself. So if you want to pick up a new skill or if you want to develop your yourself in any kind of way, like whatever you're passionate about, whatever you want to do what you authentically and genuinely want to learn for yourself that is never a waste of money and that is never uh considered an expense it would be an investment Nico, it's a wrap all right guys let us know what you think we changed up the video a little bit this time we try to include our, our, our beautiful little Miko the Kanye out here who kept eating almonds his entire, entire <laughs> thing. entire advice. Uh, he left a mess in our feet, which I'll unfortunately have to clean up, but it's okay because I love this guy. And I think he'd, oh, you want you to eat more. Um, <laughs> bloop, bloop, bloop. There you go. Like the video, hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you get notified about every video that we edit and put up on YouTube for you guys. Thanks. Wow. Wow.